boy Rep Milwaukee 414 coming straight to you from Sneakerheads Quarter Line. Back with another one. And today, I'm doing a little something different. Uh, I've had a couple people ask me to do this. So today, I'm going to do my top five in Air Jordan 1s. Now, for my favorite shoe of all time is the Air Jordan 1. So, like I said, I'm going to do five different colorways um, that are my top five currently, that currently are my top five. So let's get to it. Um, actually, you know what? I'm gonna flip it a little bit and because I got a ringer, well, I don't have a ringer, but I also have an honorable mention. So I got a top five and I also have an honorable mention in the Air Jordan 1. So I think I'm gonna do my honorable mention first and then we'll do the countdown. So, honorable mention is this year's Metallic Red Air Jordan 1. So, uh, the quality on this is actually, on the low, really pretty decent. Um, I love the all-white, the accents of Metallic Red on it. You got the Nike Air on the front, on the tongue. No jump man on the back, so they kept it real OG. And this is actually a colorway, an OG colorway that was released. Um, so I really like this. I had to pick it up when it came out. I got it on release. Um, I haven't seen too many people with it, and I haven't seen it like in stores that much or whatever. I know, I mean, if you want a cop, I'm pretty sure it is still kind of easy to grab. Um, in different places, but I just haven't seen it that much. So, um, this is the metallic red Air Jordan 1. Um, I instantly lace swapped it with our red leather laces, gold lace tips. So, it makes this shoe look even more fire. So, with our red leather custom laces. So, that's the lace swap that's on it. They also do come, they come stocked with it, uh, with the traditional white laces, and then they have the alternate, uh, they have the alternate red laces. Uh, but I wanted to instantly upgrade them to our red leather custom laces. Let y'all see that again. Genuine Italian leather with the gold lace tips. So, uh, red bottoms. For all you ladies out there, got the red bottoms too, baby. <laughs> so, but yeah, this is my honorable mention. Let's get to the next one. Now, for my number five is the Air Jordan 1 2017 Black History Month. Now, this being at number five was really, really hard for me because, and the reason why... Um, before I get into all the features on this shoe is that to me personally This is the best quality Air Jordan 1 ever Ever literally um, If you haven't seen my review on this I did a couple months back when these released back in February make sure y'all go check that out um, But yeah, this black history month one the quality This is is a1 is this is better than shattered backboard ones literally this is better than shattered backboard so this is my number five even though this is the best quality out of all of them this made it at number five it was kind of hard to put at number five um but that's what i was feeling today at this being number five so and next week i'll change I, I could change it up which i probably will and um maybe some of the releases some of the ones that I don't even have in this top five will be in my top five, but I'm going off of today and how I'm feeling. This is my number five. At number four, we have the Air Jordan 1 New York Knit colorway. So, uh, as you can see, has the orange and has the blue base. Nike Air on the tongue. And then with this release, they came out with on the lace tips, like a black lace tips. 
orange laces. So, um, I've actually worn these one time. So the bottoms are black a little bit, but um, this is what I got for number four. I really love this shoe. Um, like I said, I've only worn it one time, and these came out a couple years back. Uh, so I've been sitting on it a little bit. Um, need to get a couple more wears in it. Um, I haven't worn it this year yet, so I actually wear this at least one time this summer, which I'm really thinking about taking this to SneakerCon Dallas as one of my options. So y'all might see this on me for SneakerCon Dallas. So if y'all going to SneakerCon Dallas, most definitely look out for your boy. I will be in the building. But this is number four. Uh, number three. Coincidentally, is the Air Jordan 1 Retro Top 3s. These came out last year, at the end of last year, 2016. Um, all of 2016, this was one of my most anticipated pickups. I couldn't wait all year to get this. Um, and then when it came out on release, it was really hard to get where I actually had to pay a couple extra bucks. Excuse me, actually to get this. But anyway, this is actually just one of them. Um, but with the top three, they have incorporated the Royal Ones, the Chicago Ones, and the Bread Run, Bread Ones as the top three. And that's why this is called the top three. Uh, I think originally they were going to call it the What The Ones, but um, I'm glad that they made it the official uh, colorway title as the top three. Um, for this one, which is the left shoe, they actually have the Royal Toe Box, Chicago in the mid, and Bread in the back. So, I didn't pull out the right shoe, but the right shoe is basically opposite of this, where you have the Bread Toe Box, um, and then you have the Royal in the back, basically. So, and also with this one, I have lace swapped with our black leather laces, gold lace tips. So, I've seen some people do it where, um, and I flipped it up a couple times, where, uh, shout out to OG Sneakers, he actually did uh, one red leather um, and then one blue leather from us. So, actually, I believe for the, and he matched it for each toe box. So, actually, the left shoe was blue and then the right shoe was red. So, I've seen him do that. I've seen other people of... Uh, They've done in the top three ones besides the black leather like I did. They've done um, our white leather also as well. So just a few different options that I've seen before. And they all look good. I mean, like I said, I've done it a couple times. Um, but I traditionally um, have kept this black leather in longer. Um, but yeah, for my, uh, for my number three option is the top threes. Now, number two is the Royal One. This is the 2017 Royal Ones. Uh, man, when I heard that this was going to come out for 2017, this was another one that I was very hyped about. Um, very much anticipated this release. Um, and I actually have two pairs. So, and if you guys know me, like, when it comes to shoes, um, I like to get the double up so I can have one on ice and then I can wear the other pair. So if I only have one pair of it, normally nine times out of ten, if I only have one pair, then I won't wear it until I get a second pair. So then I can actually wear one and then I have one on ice. Um, you know, call me crazy, whatnot, but I don't know. That's just, it's a Milwaukee thing. Um <laughs> And maybe it is a Milwaukee thing, but I, you know, but that I'm product of my own environment. Hey, it is what it is. So anyway, back to the shoe. This is the Royal One. Uh, you have the blue toe box, blue in the back, blue swooshes, um, uh, blue bottoms, and then I have also well the Nike Air tongue, and then I have already lace swapped it with our matching blue leather laces which actually comes out 
really dope in these. Um, we actually uh, also have our black leather as an option, which I've shown y'all here so y'all can kind of get a feel for it. Sometimes I keep this blue in, sometimes I flip it up and then I'll put our black in here also as well. So it looks good either way. Um, but currently I have the blue leather in here from SneakerCon Chicago. I haven't flipped out yet. So, but number two is the Royal Ones. Now, number one, this may, this may, you know, get a couple people. They may be like, yeah, I'm feeling that number one. A couple people might be like, man, what the heck? But, like I said, this is my top five plus my honorable mention for right now, currently. Um, tomorrow, it could be something different. But, this is what I was feeling for today. So, ride with me on this one. And most definitely, in the comment section, you know, let me know what y'all feeling. If y'all like my top five plus the honorable mention. If y'all not feeling it. If y'all think I should have moved the number five to a three, or the three to a four, whatever. Let me know what y'all feel in the comment section, all right? And most definitely, um, I didn't say it before, um, most definitely it's appreciated, but like, comment, and subscribe to the channel, please. So now, for the number one, we have the Bread 2016 Bread Ones. 2016 Bread Ones. We got the red toe box, red heel panel, and upper. And as normal, the Nike Air on the tongue. And it is already lace swap, as you guys can see, with our red leather laces, gold lace tips. This is my number one pick. This is, uh, this is actually my number one shoe, period, of all time. I love this shoe. It looks amazing. Uh, it damn near goes with anything. Like anything. So... And then basically, in all my ones, I don't even I don't even wear my ones unless I have sneakers and sneaker shields in them. So shout out to sneaker shields, I rock with them heavy. Um, most definitely, I advise any and everybody rocking ones. <laughs> most definitely, put sneaker shields in your ones. Okay. So and if you guys want to check out the product with sneaker shields. We do actually sell. We do actually sell. Man, I'm tongue twisted today. We do actually sell sneaker shields on our website. So most definitely check us out, sneakerscoline.com. Um, but back to it. This is this is it, man. You know, very simple and plain. Um, I've loved this shoe for all my existence. So always have to keep a double up pair on these at all times. And uh, I actually have two pairs of these currently right now. And this is the pair that I'm rocking. So, uh, I've also flipped out every once in a while. Currently, right now, I have the red leather lace swap in here from us. Um, I also have done, like I said before, the black lace swap. Lace swap. Man, I'm tripping today. So, between the two, that's what I end up rocking with. Um... And then actually Jumpman Bostic. Shout out to Jumpman Bostic, man. Um, uh, Jumpman Bostic actually uh, lace swapped with our white leather laces in his bread ones. So uh, most definitely, um, you know, if y'all don't even know who Jumpman Bostic is, first of all, man, Google him. Do your research. Know your history if you're going to be in this culture, number one. Okay? So that most definitely was an honor. When he did that video um, on our brand and he lace swapped his bread ones uh, with our white leather. So most definitely shout out to Jumpman Bostic. My prayers still go out to you, my brother. Um, you know, and uh, I know I said it before in uh, one of my other previous videos. But I uh, wish I could have seen you in Chicago, SneakerCon. But I know I'll be able to see you uh, in the coming few months here at uh, future events. So, anyway, this is my number one, the bread ones. If y'all like uh, this video, y'all like the top five, most definitely let me know. Like I said, reach out to me in the comments. Let me know how y'all feeling. If y'all feeling it, if y'all ain't feeling the top five, cool. 
Let me, let me know in the you know let me know in the comments. But like I said, by all means, you know today this is my top five plus honorable mention. Tomorrow, you know it could be something else. I know y'all gonna be saying, oh he didn't have the shattered backboard ones in there. I just wasn't feeling the shattered backboard ones right now. Um, but like I said, maybe tomorrow I'll have it in there. And I mean I had the Nick colorway in there. So anyway, yeah. Once again, it's your boy Red Milwaukee 414 coming straight to you from Sneakerheads Clothing Line. I am the owner CEO. Most definitely appreciate all the love and support that we've been getting on this YouTube channel and all the love and support we get on all our social media outlets. Most definitely follow us and check us out on Instagram, which is Sneakerheads underscore clothing underscore line. Y'all can check me out on Twitter at Red Milwaukee 414. And then y'all can check out our Facebook page um, where me and the whole team. Uh, can most definitely see y'all pics. Uh, y'all can see some more videos, different sales, different options that we have on our Facebook page and different releases um, from me and my team on our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash nigga has clothing line. So uh, most definitely follow us, like us, um, you know, subscribe to all our outlets. And most definitely, if y'all like any of the lace swaps um, or if y'all want to change it up, y'all want to upgrade, um, your sneakers, we specialize in custom laces, uh, and we most definitely specialize in all sneaker accessories. So most definitely check us out. Um, if y'all like our logo tee, most definitely that's on our website. Most definitely pick up our logo tee. This is our limited edition Royal Blue, and then we also have our traditional red that is selling out like crazy. So if y'all want to grab a shirt, most definitely and support the brand. We really appreciate that. Besides grabbing some of our laces or different things that we have on our website, man, you know, check us out. www.sneakerheadsclothingline.com. I'll have it at the bottom of the screen, uh, probably, but then also as well, it will be in the description. So, uh, I'll holler at y'all later, man. Peace.